All right, guys, Warren Lewis here, back with another Match Day vlog. It's Sunday, the 21st of April. It's FA Cup semi-final day. It's Coventry City versus Manchester United. Now, of course, we had the first semi-final yesterday between Manchester City and Chelsea. Manchester City were victors in that one. Uh, one goal to nil, they won that. So, whoever wins today will play them in the final. It could be a repeat of last season's final. Uh, as much as I suppose I'm dreading that in many ways, uh, it would be it would be a good game, of course, for the uh, neutral. Look, I would go on about our form and how inconsistent we are, but it's the FA Cup. All form goes out the window. Coventry City are going to be massively up for it. We we can't underestimate them today. They're going to give it a really good go. I'm actually quite nervous for this one. Obviously, we'll go into predictions and everything later, but I'm certainly not expecting uh, an easy game today. Let's get in the car. Let's hit the road. Let's head down to Wembley. Come on, United. All right, guys. Just parked up at Pinner Tube Station. It's only about, I think, five stops away uh, from uh, Wembley itself. Um, it's taken us about, what? Two and a half, three hours to get down here. Bit cloudy. Yeah. But I think it's meant to brighten up a little bit later. So. And that's the weather. That's the weather. Semi-final, Coventry. Um, obviously, as I said in my preview, we, we can't be can't be underestimating them because, you know. It, because we're Man United, aren't we? Yeah. And we're in a very unpredictable phase at the moment. You know, we we could quite easily put five or six past them today, and yet we could quite easily concede two goals in the first half. We are literally, literally like that. So I don't know what's going to happen today, honestly. No, I I only saw. I've only I've not really seen Coventry much to be fair. No, I saw the, a bit of the uh, the Wolves game. Yeah, I, I did as well. I mean, Wolves were poor, but you have to give yeah, credit to Coventry. Coventry were pressing in that. Uh, I've not really watched any of their other games in, in the Championship. Uh, so I can't really pass comment on mm. the form. Because really, form goes out the window in, in games like this. Yeah. Obviously, Mark, Mark Robbins, United legend to a certain degree, Coventry's manager. Yeah. Uh, he's done a good job. There'll be uh, 36,000, is it? Yeah. Coventry, Coventry fans. fans. Uh, 35,000 United 200, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be a good atmosphere uh, with a chance to, again, meet City in the final. Um, watched that yesterday. It's Chelsea missed an opportunity. Yeah. Or should we say... Uh, Nicholas Jackson. Nicholas Jackson. <laughs> Maybe if he, didn't, if he didn't model himself on Paul Pogba, mm. he, might have, uh, he might have scored a few goals, but... That's, you've got to put the ball in there, haven't you? So, mm. uh, as everybody wants to win this, obviously. Yeah. Um, and it's a, obviously a European place, isn't it? And uh, if you win it. Yeah. You know, what was seventh in the league? There's a lot of activity around us, so there's no guarantee of European football. Yeah. So, uh, quite beneficial to us, really. You know, if we do get through to the final, then we've got to turn up against City. Again, like we didn't do last season. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's a chance to forget about uh, the, the Premier League. Obviously, we've got, we got a game on Wednesday against Sheffield yes, United. Yes, Sheffield United. And mm -hmm. Burnley Saturday. I mean, that's, that's you know, in theory, that's six points. But how many times have we said, oh, we can get this many points from this yeah, many well, games well, and we've yeah, not done obviously that? Obviously, the Burnley game is, 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 is the one way you think you're going to get pressurised because Burnley are trying mm. to trying to escape aren't they from yeah. relegation but today I don't know what to expect uh, it's, it's a tough one to call really it is it? it's really hard yeah um, like I say we don't really see much of, of commentary I'm not really so. bothered watching much but I'd, uh, I, I don't know I mean is it going to be same United you know 10, 15, 20 minutes and yeah we come out and play well and then all of a sudden right okay that's not worked what's plan B and we don't have one mm. uh not too sure what his starting eleven will be, um, but let, let's see if we can just put a performance in and try and put the game to bed early on. The longer it goes, uh, and Coventry is still in it, then yeah, yeah, you know, 
you, you get deep into 60, 70 minutes and there's still no goal, or it's one all, it's going to be no, no mm. team. Oh, I went to so. penalties against Brighton. Yeah, and you want to avoid last all that. So, semis, so. I, I don't know prediction wise. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll scrape. I'll, I'll take a win of any sort. Yeah. Not going there. Specific I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to just disrespect, disrespect commentary and, no. uh, and think that United are better than what they are. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go three one. Oh, I was going to say that. I always like, three one United, but I, I don't think I don't think it'll be that easy. Okay, just so I can go with a different prediction. Um, four two, four two United. Yeah. I think co commentary. I think we'll get at least. At least one goal, and especially after some of our defending against Bournemouth, it was very um, lacklustre at times. So I think they'll sneak one in, but we've got to be scoring a few goals at yeah. least. Guys, here we are, just come out of Wembley Park, Chief Station, across the famous so view of Wembley. Quite busy, and it's just gone to 5 o'clock. Uh, let's soak up a bit of the atmosphere. So, once again, all staff for the events, all ambassadors, team leaders, RCI. There we go, some scarves and things on, the, on display. Number 
Session, but you can't really no do anything with it. No, it's quite slow. quite slow, not fast paced, just a bit boring, really. Tommy makes it 1 0, finally. Just a tap in, but we'll take it. Keeper forced to make the save corner. Coventry City nil, Manchester United 2. Well, we've completely dominated them, as is probably expected. We've had a few chances um, going forward. We've been a little bit sloppy uh, at the back, but I think overall, yes, we've been dominant, but the play is just way too slow. It's just not as. Uh, it's, been, as it's been very dull, yeah. it? it's not been a great watch. Uh, well, we're, we're winning by two yeah, nils. That's yeah. all that matters, really. Yeah, you, you can only beat what's in front of you. Yeah. You know, it's Harry Maguire has been di di dictating the play from the back, and it has been slow and sluggish. Uh, it's been difficult to watch, but we're two two nil ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll take that now and just yeah. go home and put my feet up. Uh, I, I'm guessing Coventry will come out and do something in the second yeah. half. We've had a couple of sniffs going forward. They'll, they'll catch us on the break. But we've just got to be aware that, you know, we, we can give two goals away quite easy if we switch off and be complacent. So we just need to get a grip, come out, come out with a bit more intensity yeah. in the second half, just to give the fans something to, uh, yeah. you know, something to cheer about. Yeah, we're winning, but it's not pretty. I just want to put a few goals past them. We might as well. Oh, Manchester United.
Nacho off Anthony on. Biggest collapse, I think, of the decade. I'm not joking. Man United three. Um, Not like I mean, that's just a capitulation in it, and a half. The, I mean, it was just so sloppy all through the goals. I mean, look, I don't know if we're cursed this season, you know, in terms of injuries, but we have conceded probably the most injury time penalties in the past month than we have in the past 20 years, and that is not an exaggeration. Literally. Every time we almost did it against Bournemouth, Chelsea, and I mean we can see it late against Brentford. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if we're cursed, but this is just. We have to sit here now for another half an hour. You can see that coming. Gra gradually, gradually, they clawed us back. It was just shocking, uh, and the season just goes from one, one turn to another. Uh, Coventry won it. We don't. I mean, look. Fair, fair dues if they win. Fair dues. Exactly. Because I, I, I don't know how this has happened. I mean, look, forget Coventry for a second. You, you don't, you're not, you don't be 3 0 up with about, what was it, 25 minutes to go and then end up being 3 3. That just can't happen regardless what team you're playing. I'd be saying the same if we're playing Arsenal. I mean, it's just, it's shocking. Tomenay off. Wilson on. So Extra time, 3-3. Nothing's changed. I can't watch another penalty shootout. 
I can't. <laughs> We've got 15 minutes. Either team has got 15 minutes to, to get a winner here. I still don't know what to say really to this. Obviously Bruno had that chance at the bar. Yeah, good chance. Uh, Coventry defending well. Yeah, it's it. Anything goes now, I think the next goal, whoever gets it now has won it. I don't know which way this is going to go at this present time. Yeah. Well, Bruno went down. Shouts for a foul, but... Saves it and now Bruno steps up. Yeah. He skied it, and I'm never saying that in the semi final shootout last season. <laughs> We've won the shootout. That, that's just an average United experience. Go 3 0 up, go out, go out your time, win it on penalties. That's just the story of, of how we operate. Thank you. 